All types of artillery and missile systems were used by Russian troops in attacks on Avdiivka after February 24, 2022. For more than a year and a half, the frontline city has been destroyed by the enemy. Now, in any area of the city, there are no surviving houses left. And it's all damaged everywhere. You can drive along any street. Everything is open, everything is broken, everything is gated, gated. Regular attacks on the city practically reduced the work of public utilities and rescue services to zero. Because of the risk of falling under fire, it is no longer possible to extinguish the fires. Local residents who have decided to stay in the city gather at the only point of invincibility to contact their loved ones. In the center, uh, every day you can see many people because uh, everyone can eat here can take a shower can wash their stuff and use wi-fi because in all of Divka today there is no internet or mobile service here you can also get hot meals lunches are prepared here daily Olena is a cook she says she thinks over the menu herself Sate zucchini and this is pork gravy. I'll warm up borscht too it's good cooked yesterday maybe someone will like to eat it there is no shortage of food and medicine in the center. Volunteers, despite the risks of falling under the fire from Russian troops, counter the city regularly. They come all the time. Let's say you make some orders. They'll try to quickly bring it all. Volunteers are great. Thank them, volunteers, for their help. Locals say that although it is still summer, they start preparing for winter in advance. According to them, they have already started collecting firewood for heating. They used trees that were broken as a result of shelling and wood collected from the ruins of residential buildings. In winter, all this will come in handy, since even apartments in high-rise buildings are heated with firewood. It was not very cold last winter. You know what we were done. Covered those rooms with stuff, blankets. There are the blankets that are dry. And it because of rain. This is so that the doors close. Two rooms and I still have a hall, a kitchen and a corridor. And we close it tightly. We were wearing only in pants last winter. Tamara says that the other day after another attack by the Russians, a whole entrance to her house was destroyed by a rocket. Now her neighbor's apartment no longer exists, as does her room where she used to sleep. The woman was saved only by the fact that at the time of the shelling, she went down to the basement. Despite this, people don't lose their fortitude, although they remain to live in a broken apartment. Try. It's not convenient. There are hours, but for God's sake, only hot guys take. Thanks a lot. For health. The streets of Avdivka are empty, but it's always noisy from the constant shelling. <laughs> Inflicting missile strikes with aircraft and shelling the city with rocket systems, Russian soldiers are also trying to storm the front line of Avdivka. The Ukrainian military say that the intensity of the attacks is not much different from the onslaught of the enemy in the Bakhmut direction. They are storming, but now they have moved more into the night. Assault teams work at night because they have heavy losses. They lost more than a battalion and now they are trying to infiltrate and storm our positions at night. Avdivka is too tough for the Russian occupiers, Ukrainian defenders say. The city is surrounded by a powerful line of defense built back in 2014. Despite the fact that there is no water, electricity and gas in the city, about 1,700 civilians remain here. Reported by Alena Kramova, Anna Nichenka, UATV News.